Hi, I'm James Montemagno, and I'm so excited to be here to tell you today how you can easily build beautiful native iOS, Android, and Windows apps all in C-sharp with .NET, with Xamarin, and connect them up to the cloud with our Azure integrations. Today, what we're gonna do is take a look at Xamarin for Visual Studio, where we can build beautiful native cross-platform mobile apps for any mobile platform. Then we'll see how to develop those out easily and some of the brand new templates to easily connect them up to the cloud. And of course, I'll show you exactly where to get started. Now, if you're brand new to Xamarin, the beautiful part here is that you can leverage all of your c -sharp and .NET knowledge to build out cross-platform native iOS, Android, Windows, Mac, watch applications, TV applications, all from inside of Visual Studio 2017. Now, how that works essentially is we enable you to build a shared c -sharp backend, all your business logic, models, view models, RESTful service calls, SQL databases, Azure integrations, integrations um, and then share that code and build out native iOS, Android, and Windows user interfaces. So this means you're sharing 60, 70, 80, sometimes 90, nearly 100% of your business logic across all mobile platforms. And they compile down into native applications and you get access to 100% of native APIs, all in C Sharp. Now how that works essentially is think of .NET. You have it running on a Windows device, Windows phone, desktop, anywhere. So you get some .NET namespaces to play around with. When you want to go to one of those platforms, you download an SDK and you get some um, specific APIs for those platforms. Think of it exactly the same when you go to Android or iOS with Xamarin. You get all of that .NET goodness on the bottom, but 100% of the Android and iOS APIs available to you all in C-sharp with beautiful, awesome C-sharp features like async await, events, lambdas, delegates, things that we know and love as .NET developers. Now, when you want to connect it up to Azure, we made it extremely easy. We have Azure Mobile Apps, which lives inside of App Services. You get a beautiful cross-platform SDK for Xamarin and your Windows applications that communicate to RESTful service endpoints automatically to do data connections, user authentication, and push notifications for all the platforms. Better yet, it offers full online-offline data synchronization and file storage. And of course, you can develop a backend in ASP.NET or Node.js, it's up to you. Let's take a look at how easy it is to start building cross-platform mobile applications and connect them up to Azure. Here we are inside of Visual Studio 2017. Now to get started building cross-platform mobile applications and connect them up to Azure, simply select on this More Project Templates to load all of the new project dialog options. Under Visual C Sharp, you'll see things like Android and iOS and tvOS when you have Xamarin installed, but we have brand new cross-platform templates under cross-platform. Selecting on that template will bring up this nice new dialog box. And this dialog here essentially allows you to build a blank application, a master detail application, and select between the UI technology. Xamarin Forms offers a cross-platform XAML-based user interface that lays down native user interfaces when run on iOS, Android, and Windows. The native approach will lay down an iOS storyboard file, uh, Android XML files, and UWP XAML files. I'm gonna go ahead and select Xamarin Forms, and then I can select between shared project or portable class libraries uh, for my shared code strategy. Now, a brand new option inside of this dialog is to host this application in Azure. This will create the backend server part with an ASP.NET backend that my mobile applications can connect to. Now all I have to do is say, OK. Now this will bring up the Create App Service backend for my application. I've already logged in with my Microsoft account, so it'll automatically pull in all the subscriptions and resource groups that I have. I can name the mobile apps a certain way, um, assign a resource group and an app service plan, and hit Create. When I do that, it will go ahead and scaffold my iOS, Android, Windows 10 application, and my ASP.NET backend. Now, I've already done that ahead of time, so let's switch over to another instance of Visual Studio. I've called this application My Items. And the first thing I want to do is show you the project structure. So let's head over here. We can see that first I have some backend code called myitems.mobileappservice, which is a full ASP.NET backend with controllers and models and, and data objects, everything that I need for an ASP.NET backend. Additionally, down here, we have all of the mobile application code. So my items gives me all of my models for the specific items that it will create, my view models, and since it's a Xamarin Forms application, all of my XAML views. 
Now this application gives me kind of a to-do list item list that allows me to add new items to a list and synchronize them across all the applications. So what we can see down on the bottom is that we still have an Android, iOS, and a Windows 10 application. That gives you the ability to access 100% of APIs inside of iOS, Android, or Windows 10. So if you need to spice it up with some platform-specific functionality, you can. Now, since I have uh, my item controller here, we can see it's a standard table controller. So there's a table controller of an item. I can initialize, I have code to do get items, add an item, patch an item, and we even have the ability to add authorization. So if you wanna add Azure AD, Twitter authentication, Microsoft authentication, all the code is given to you automatically. All you have to do is uncomment a few lines of code. Now we know that you wanna start probably building some more items, so all you have to do is add a new scaffolded item. When you do that, you'll see under Azure Mobile Apps a new ability to add a custom controller or a table controller. So when you start to add more data items, simply add them on there. At any time, all you have to do is right click and hit publish to publish your backend to the Azure portal. Let me show you what that looks like. So in the Azure portal, it'll, when I uh, create that application, it'll create a completely mobile app backend for me. Now, if you already want to have, if you want to create one ahead of time, already want to have one created, you can come in here under Web Mobile and select a new mobile app. Now, like I said, it's already created it for me. So when I tap on My Items app, it will bring me into my app service backend. So you can see that it's hosted already on AzureWebsites.net. When I tap on that, my Azure mobile app is running. I can go ahead and connect it to a database, whether it's uh, SQL Azure or another type of database. And I have, of course, the ability to scale out or scale up based on the plans that I'm on. So if I want to increase this to an S1 or a P1 bucket, I can. So this is really nice because it gives me the ability to connect to the database I want, whether it's on-prem, and to scaffold out different items there. Now, let's get into the actual mobile application parts back into Visual Studio 2017. Now, notice again that we have all of our code inside of this portable app code. So I wanna highlight a few things. We have services, such as our, our authentication libraries, our Azure data store. We have a mock data store, so if you wanna just test out some things offline, you can. Then we structure everything in the MVVM approach. So we have our main item, which is here, which we can see we have some text and description that we wanna add. We also are inheriting from base data objects, so we have some Azure-specific properties, such as ID, created at, updated at, and an Azure version number associated with it for online offline data synchronization. And then we have all of our view models. So we have an about view model, an items view model, a login view model, and all of our views associated with it. So when I look at my items page, which is all in XAML, this is gonna give us a list of items. I have an activity indicator, a list view here that's associated with my items, and even pull to refresh that we'll call load items command then I can go ahead and give it a custom view. Now this XAML may look familiar to you because it's XAML with data binding, but this is Xamarin Forms controls and schema. We have powerful IntelliSense uh, to get all of the properties and everything that you need built right into Visual Studio 2017. Now this code here is associated with a view model and the code behind. So let's head over to the items view model. Now it's really cool here is when the uh, load items command is executed with pull to refresh or manually, it will go off to our data store and call get items async. And this is gonna be the first time that we actually talk to our Azure backend. And the code couldn't be simpler. In fact, all this code is written for you automatically with this template. I have not modified any lines of code. So let's go into the Azure data store. Now what we're gonna see inside of here is that I have a data store that's gonna connect to this Azure mobile service client that will handle all the online offline data synchronization. If you wanna add user authentication, simply toggle it to true and set up your provider that you would like to use, whether it's Twitter, Azure AD, or anything else that we support. The initialization couldn't be easier. I simply point it at my URL of my website and that I wanna use camel casing. And then I define my item table into my local SQLite store database and I get that table back. At this point now on my items table, I can simply come in and I can do things such as delete asynchronously, insert asynchronously, look up asynchronously, purge, read, any of the CRUD operations for this table. So if I wanna get my items, all I have to do is say, pull my latest asynchronously and 
give everything back to me, all asynchronous. If I wanna get a specific item, I can prefer link queries right on the items table to say only give me the specific item with this ID. It will handle all of it for me automatically. If I wanna add an item, simply insert it into the database and synchronize it asynchronously. The code is so simple. To actually pull data from the database, all I do is make one call pull async, which will go off to Azure and pull down all of the items from the online database that will synchronize across the platform. We can also see that I'm using a cross-connectivity plugin for Xamarin and Windows that handles cross-platform uh, connectivity to say, am I connected to the internet right now? To synchronize, again, couldn't be easier. All I have to do is say, push all my local changes up to the server. Now let me show you what this application looks like running. I have it already running here on Android, Windows, and iOS. We can see that we're getting a native look and feel because Xamarin applications are 100% native. I get my uh, Windows 10 look and feel over here with icons up top, Android material tabs to browse icons and get an about screen, and I get tabs on the bottom here for iOS. Xamarin applications and Xamarin Forms applications are 100% native. So if I wanna come in and add a new item and say, I love VS 2017 and hit add, this will go off, add the item here locally, and all I have to do now is simply pull the refresh on the other iOS and Android uh, tables here. And immediately, we have I love Visual Studio 2017. This gives us full online, offline data synchronization, and that performed a full round trip to Azure in sheer milliseconds. Now, if my applications go offline or come back online, it'll automatically synchronize across all of my different applications. With a few modifications to the code that's been scaffolded out for me, I can add new items, add authentication, and add new pages to this application. Here we get our beautiful remote iOS simulator that's part of Visual Studio 2017 Enterprise. I'm using any Android emulator or simulator device here, I'm using the Visual Studio Hyper-V powered emulators, and of course, I'm running my Windows 10 application right here. Now again, it couldn't be easier to come in and add and modify code and start building beautiful native cross-platform cloud-connected applications powered by Xamarin and Azure. Now, I just showed you how easy it is to build beautiful cross-platform native applications and connect them up to Azure. Now, when you're installing Visual Studio 2017, simply check on that Xamarin checkbox for mobile development all in C-sharp. That'll install everything that you need to get started. If you've already installed Visual Studio or you need some help, just go to xamarin.com download for everything that you need. In fact, head to xamarin.com for everything that you need, including documentation, resources, and sample code to get you started. If you wanna take it to the next step, check out Xamarin University, which is unrivaled mobile development training. You can get a free self-guided training when you go to xamarin.com slash university, which gives you online interactive training. It's beautiful, it's wonderful. It's if it enable you to become a mobile Xamarin certified developer. Now we have plenty of other great documentation and resources to get you started. Just simply head to azure.com slash Xamarin to find out more about everything that you've seen here. You can find me on Twitter and GitHub at James Montemagno and check out my weekly development show on channel nine at xamarinshow.com. And thank you so much.